Hi everyone, it's Kamala Harris. Each day we are seeing our rights and freedoms under attack, including the right of everyone to be who they are, love who they love, openly and with pride. So as we fight back against these attacks, let's all remember, no one is alone. We are all in this together, and your vote is your power. So please make sure your voice is heard this November and register to vote at vote.gov. Can I get an amen? Amen! Now on with the show. And remember, you better vote. <laughs> Vice President will get all of Biden's campaign money and on the Democrats' best issue, abortion, she's a walking reminder to women that Republicans are coming for the abortion pill. She won't just protect Plan B, she is Plan B. <laughs> and as a former prosecutor, Kamala was putting criminals in jail back before liberals decided that was a bad thing. <laughs> now that CVS is locking the shaving cream behind plexiglass, Democrats are coming around to her again. <laughs> Harris would be the first woman president, first black woman president, and first Asian president. But I don't vote for who will be the first. I vote for who will win. And for whatever reason, Harris has never been popular. You can count the number of delegates she won in the 2020 primaries on one hand, as long as that hand has no fingers. <laughs> in three years as vice president, she's been quieter than an electric car. And <laughs> And like an electric car, your MAGA uncle can't explain why she fills him with homicidal rage. <laughs> she just does. Sometimes life isn't fair. It's not fair that she's not popular. She's intelligent and accomplished. And in fact, was put in charge of the border. And look at how... Okay, bad example. Pastor Gino Jennings. That's my boy. I like Pastor Gino Jennings because he just speaks the truth about the Bible. All right, and, and the Christian values and what we're supposed to be doing and, and so forth and so forth. You know, we're supposed to be following the book, right? That's what most of us believe here on planet Earth. That's what most of us believe. But uh, Kamala Fornia, she doesn't believe any of that Bible stuff. You know, it, it's just off the rail for her. And she's getting destroyed on X. She's getting destroyed on YouTube. She's getting destroyed completely. Because she's too radical. She's absolutely too radical. Uh, the Democrats never liked her. I haven't heard anybody say anything good about her. I think Obama just recently came out and endorsed her for some strange reason. <laughs> okay. Let's think about what happened. Think about the series of events that happened. So all the things that they put Trump through, weaponizing the justice system against him, you know. All right. So that happened. That didn't work. All right. I mean, a slew of other things, but let's start there. Right. That didn't work. Um, after doing that, I mean, they tried to destroy his business. They tried to they tried to. Well, before that, they tried to destroy his business. They tried a lot of things uh, to get Trump out of the way. And it, none of it worked. OK, that's my point. None of it. None of it worked. And they're still trying. So then they try uh, to take him out. You know, they, they, they push dangerous rhetoric, in my opinion, uh, to, um, you know, get rid of Trump, get, get him out of the way. That didn't work, all right? But now, they had to throw Kamala in there, and they threw her to the wolves, okay? They threw Kamala to the wolves. Uh, she's the sacrifice, basically, all right? Um, and, you know, I guess that they feel like that, you know, the black woman is, you know, basically uh, hit, hit, you know, the Democrat Party's only shot to win the presidency. They're going to find out very quickly that it's just not going to work. Everybody's tired of the Democrat Party. It's not just Kamala Harris. It's not just Joe Biden. It's it's the whole shebang bang. Everybody's tired of the awful policies that don't help anyone. All right. And, you know, as you saw at the beginning of this video, that's the kind of stuff that uh, Kamala Fornia is all about. You know, she she pushes this uh, alphabet soup stuff. And, you know, Americans can't get on board with that because most people have families like a husband, a wife and some kids. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is uh, how they roll. They're showing you how they roll. You know, the Satanism is <laughs> out, out in the open. It's pretty out in the open. I mean, if anybody's paying attention, the Satanism is just out in the open. But that's why I pulled up Geno Jennings today. 
Uh, and he's got a couple of words to say about Kamala Harris. And I thought it was pretty interesting because apparently she is going to hell. And Kamala Harris. That's right. That endorsed this homosexual trash. Oh, yeah. And the whole Democratic hypocrite. Amen. None of you. Go ahead. None of you <clears throat> is a Christian. No. That endorsed same sex marriages. That's right. Not one. That's right. Not one. Not one. That's right. Yeah, me good. Amen. I don't care if you're black as the street, white as snow, <laughs> yellow as butter, or clear as water. Oh, yeah. Any of you preachers or any of you judges, Democrat or Republican or from the Supreme Court yeah. that endorse, endorse same-sex marriages, you are nothing but low-down liars. That's right. And you pull pit Cadillac driving scared bums. Go ahead. That is too weak because the devil took your spine. Go ahead. To stand up against it, you ought to go to hell, God knows. That's right. Are you listening? Before I formed thee in the belly. God said, before I formed thee in the belly. I knew thee. Before I made you. I knew thee. I already knew you before that, I made you. That's right. I already knew what you were. Before I And if you can me. tell Jeremiah he knew what he was, hmm. then I'm telling you right now, right tonight, now. God know what you are. That's right. Huh? That's right. I don't matter if you got homosexuals in your family. No. I got homosexuals in mine. Amen. The Bible don't change. No. If I got any parents here and you know you got a son named Sam and you want him to change his name to Samantha, you ain't no Christian, you's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. If I got any women here, thank God that's putting lipstick on your son, you're teaching your son blasphemy. Blasphemous. God said, let us make let man. Let us make man. That's it. You parents, stand up. That's right. And stop being scared and say, you accept the children the way they are. No parent that fear God will accept wrong. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Yeah. Glory to God. Oh, we're going to preach it. God knows. Oh, yes. Oklahoma, if you thought at any time I was any different in person than I was over the air, that devil made a fool out of you. That's right. Huh? That's right. The only difference is when you get upset watching me over the air, you can turn it off. Right now, I'm live, buddy. Live. You can't turn me off now. That's right. Amen. That's right. All right, son, go back to the Revelation and finish up real fast. Back in Revelation chapter 4 and at verse 3. I want to show you that the prophets and the apostles had the same spirit, which differed from the spirit of these men today. Revelation on, chapter 4 and verse 3. All right. And he that sat was to look upon like a he jasper. He said, immediately I was in the spirit and one was on the throne. Mm -hmm. I saw one sat on the throne and he that sat was to look upon as a jasper and the sodding stone. And there was a and rainbow, was a rainbow, rainbow about round the about the throne. In sight like unto an ember. In sight like unto an ember. And round about the throne and were four the and twenty throne, seats. There there was 24 seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty they elders were clothed in white, white raiment, raiment and, and they, they had, had on their heads, heads crowns of gold. Now 12 plus 12 is 24. That's it. You have 12 tribes of Israel. Jesus came and chose 12 men and made them 12 apostles. That's right. The 24 elders around the throne represent Old Testament and New Testament. They represent the 12 tribes of Israel and they represent the 12 men that Jesus made apostles. Right. And they had on their head crowns, crowns of gold, of which meant the prophets and the apostles was anointed by the self same spirit. That's right. They was anointed by the self same spirit because the book says in the book of Peter that the prophets of old had the spirit of Christ and the spirit, and of, the Christ spirit of Christ is the testimony of Jesus. That's right. God have never moved on the apostles that contradict Dick the prophets. No. So whoever your pastor is, and I don't care who he is, <laughs> I don't care if it's your daddy. That's right. Or your son. That's right. Or your uncle. <laughs> or your husband. Or your slap happy grandpappy. That's right. If what he preach contradict the apostles at all. Oh yes. Your pastor is a false prophet. That's right. Do you hear me? That's right. Hear me, woman. Your husband is a false prophet. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good. Your grandpappy is a false prophet because he's supposed to have the same spirit, same spirit. that they had. That's right. The same spirit that moved on men to write the book got to get in men today to explain and interpret what's in the book. That's right. God will never get in no man today with no message, with no sermon, not even a prophecy that contradict that book. That's right. That's right. I don't care how anointed he may appear. Oh, yes. <laughs> Amen. Amazing. Now, I wanted to let that play because we need this, okay? that This is a church that we actually need. This is a pastor, something like that. That's what we need. All right, because people gonna got away from the word of God. They didn't got away from their spirituality and got away from the Bible. That's why we're in so much trouble. And we got a woman running for president. OK, I don't think we should ever need a woman to run for president. I don't think women should feel like they need to be a president. OK, I think a man should be in charge of his house. That's how it should be. In my opinion, that's how it should be. All right. When you have strong men leaders, uh, we can be all we can all be strong. We can have a strong nation. We can have a strong nation under God. That's how it's supposed to be. All right. But this stuff that Kamala Harris is promoting is going to cause problems, big problems. It's, it's not going to work. It's not, the majority of Americans do not like it at all. Actually, we hate it. We don't hate anyone, but we hate what they're pushing. It's not, it's not America. That's not what America was founded on. That's not America. Okay. That's not going to cause any sort of freedom for all of us. That's not freedom, actually. Uh, the way we see it is that you're stuck in sin, and that is actually imprisonment, basically. Freedom is less regulation on business, low taxes. This allows people to feed their families. This allows people to open up their businesses and do well. Okay? The things that these people are pushing in the Democrat Party are absolute nonsense. They have nothing to do with financial freedom. They have nothing to do with the American dream. They have nothing to do with prosperity at all. Every wealthy man in the Bible, uh, had a business. Okay. This is what the devil wants to take away from us. He wants to take away our rights to have business, take away our ownership on the earth. That's exactly what's happening right now. And that's what Kamala Harris wants to extend. Okay. Kamala Harris is going to give you the same exact thing that Joe Biden's giving you tyranny. Okay. She's going to take away your gun rights. But she's going to push LGBTQ until her last breath, okay? And she's going to push deleting babies until the last breath. Those are the things that they consider freedom and rights. We don't have anything to do with that. That's imprisonment by sin. That's exactly what it is. So, you know, uh, when, we're, when we're going to the voting box this time around, you better think about your pockets. You better think if you can afford to actually eat here and not pay attention to these lunatics who want to push you in the wrong direction. Amen to Pastor Gino Jennings. I wanted to let that play, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this will inspire you. I hope you get some people out there to vote. I hope you take some people with you. And I hope this is going to be a big win for us, a landslide. Trump ought to get a landslide. Fortunately, we, fortunately we, he's still alive and we, you know, we need his uh, service right now. You know, let me know what you think in the comments, like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time, guys, thank you.